Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phonebunch and today we are benchmarking the Zolo Q510S available for $64.99. We have the MT6582M chipset, Android 4.4.2, 4-inch WVGA IPS display. Here you can see it's a quad-core processor and Mali 400 MP2 GPU, powers the graphics on the device, 967 MB of RAM available out of 1 GB, 2 GB of internal storage out of which 1.7 GB is free. We have 5 megapixel rear camera with LED flash capable of recording 1080p videos along with a VGA front facing camera is also available. You have a 1500mAh battery on the device. Proximity sensor, light sensor, accelerometer are also present. All are working fine. We are going to start the benchmarks with Quadrant. We are running the full benchmark here. It has been fast forwarded to get to the results quickly. We got a score of 7358 which is one of the highest scores in this segment. And you can see it is just below the Micromax Unite 2 with 8803. Now we are running the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It's a graphics benchmark, will give us an FPS score. We got a score of 63.3 FPS. High end game should be playable on this device. Now we are running the Andrew 2 benchmark. We are running the full benchmark here as well. It's been fast forwarded again. The scores have loaded. Let's have a look. We got 17 triple eight, which is among the highest scores in this segment, just below the Micromax Unite 2 which also features the same chipset with 1GB RAM running Android KitKat. Now we are running Velamo HTML5 chapter. It will run Sun Spider, V8 Benchmark Suit as well as Octane. So we got a score of 1657 and you can see it's just below the Galaxy S3. Now we are running the Metal chapter of Velamo which will specifically test the processing capabilities of the phone. We got a score of 768 which is truly the highest score in this particular segment that we have got. You can see that in the comparison as well. Now we are running the single thread lint pack test. We got a score of 114.84, which is again a very decent score. On multi thread, we got a score of 261.094, which in the comparison also you can see is the highest in the segment. Multi touch test time. So I have six fingers on the display, only two are detected. It's a two point multi touch display, which is a bit disappointing. Nevertheless, the Zolo Q510S performed quite well in our benchmark tests. In general, you can see that there is no lag. The touch response of the display is quite accurate. The display has good viewing angles. They are white, no distortion in colors or brightness. And the colors actually do seem quite natural as well. And all of this for about Rs. 64.99 does seem like a sweet deal after all. We'll be back with more on the Zolo Q510S. Till then you can watch its unboxing from right here as well as the benchmarks of the Motorola Moto E. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.